All right. So in this example, I have 1 over 64 equals 1 fourth raised to the third power. Now, the main important thing is what we went over in our class is we, I showed you guys, yes? What question are you doing? This is question number two. So in the class, what we basically went over is I gave you guys a general equation. I said y equals log base b to the x is equal. You can transfer this in logarithm form. You can transfer this into exponential form by saying b to the y is equal to x. Well, that works the same way. If you have an example of b to the y equals x, that gets transformed to y equals log base b to the x. So in reality, all you really need to do is just identify what is your b, what is your y, and what is your x. Okay? And a lot of these problems, especially ones with fractions, it can be kind of confusing. However, the easiest thing I always do is I always think a b represents the base of my fraction, right? or the base of my exponent. The base of my exponent is also the base of my logarithm. So in this problem, what is the base? Do I have a base represented? Yes, that's 1 fourth. So it's log of 1 fourth is going to be my little base down there. right? Then whatever my base is, raised to, is going to be my y. right? And to write that in logarithmic form, that's what my logarithm is equal to. So I'll write is equal to 3, and therefore that leaves me as 1 over 64 is my x. So it's 3 equals log of 1 fourth, um, log one, base 1 fourth of 1 64. OK? And that was it. So I gave you guys you know, all these eight problems because I really expect you guys